need computer training for a group or office, contact us today to get a free demo of our training at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing. You can use a resource pool to create a single list of resources that can be scheduled amongst multiple projects. While this can be helpful in almost any multi-project situation, it is especially helpful when scheduling multiple projects amongst multiple project managers in a network environment. There are many benefits to using a shared resource pool for projects. When using resource pools, you only need to enter the resource information into the resource pool once. From there, you can link the resource pool to multiple projects, which are called sharer projects, as needed. Another benefit is that you can view resource assignments from multiple projects in a single location. This also allows you the ability to more easily see over allocated resources amongst multiple projects, even if a selected resource is under allocated within a single project. These are just a few benefits of using resource pools. Before you can use a resource pool amongst multiple projects, you must first create the resource pool. This file is often placed in a shared network folder for ease of access between all project managers who need to link to their individual sharer projects. Also, any project file can be used as a resource pool. However, it is most often a project file that contains no tasks, as the whole point of this file is to serve as a shared resource pool. Also, it's a good idea to save the resource pool with a file name that makes it perfectly clear that this is a resource pool file and not simply another project file. Once you've created and saved a blank project file with the desired name, you then link that desired sharer project file to the dedicated shared resource pool. Now you can do this by opening the resource pool project file as well as the other project files that you want to link to the shared resource pool. Now within each sharer project file, you can then click the resource pool drop down button that appears in the assignments button group on the resource tab in the ribbon and then select the share resources command. In the share resources dialog box that opens, you select the Use Resources drop-down and choose the name of the resource pool. Next, in the On Conflict with Calendar or Resource Information section, select the Pool Takes Precedence option to make the Sharer Plan use resource information from the resource pool over its own resource information if there is a conflict. Once you have set the desired options in the Share Resources dialog box, you can then click the OK button to apply them. After that, you can then see the resources from the share plan shown in the main resource pool project file. You can then use the shared resource pool file to check for things such as resource over allocations amongst the project files that share those resources. Like what you see? Get a free demo of our training for groups of five or more at www.teachucomp.com forward slash enterprise dash licensing.